Hello YouTuber, Facebooker, or whoever might be watching this. My name is Rudy Between Worlds, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, in the last episode, what happened was, um, oh, hello, monkey. Um, we, we found the princess inside of her castle, and when we found her, oh, that's not cool. Hi, weird-ass puppet people. Nice to see you just creeping up my day a little bit. How are you? Good? I hope so. Because I'm sure of shit shit and bricks ever since I saw your faces. Anyway, what happened in the last episode was we found the princess and she gave her entire body and soul just so she could give Midna the life that she needed to carry on and help me save Hyrule. Which, uh, such a selfless act of heroism so she could benefit the rest of her country. Oh, it's so useful. She's so she's a nice person. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff. All right, Link, let's go. Okay, I'm down. I'm down on that. John Madden, he gets down on that pretty hardcore. The fourth down on that. Okay, we're gonna have to hop from one branch to the other and other pieces of wood to the next pieces of wood. And when we do that, it gets a little bit messy sometimes. But that's only if you're not aiming yourself in the right way. Let the wind turn the bridges round and round again. Um, that's my new song, new cover album by Rudy Between Worlds. There's nothing I can get even if I could get up there. So, I don't know why I'm so concerned about it. Oh, go, 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 go. I did not time that right at all. I thought, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to get past it. Okay, well, let's freaking, let's access another part of the hero shade. What's the pitch? Pitch it to me. Let's hear it one more time. Fuck yeah, I didn't even have to memorize it that time or give myself little marks. I deserve a, a special mark for that one. I'm a special guy, I did the song right. Man, that, that would have taken me forever as a kid. I know it did. Okay, well, I still am, like, more or less maybe a kid. Yeah, I didn't even think I did it right the first time. I just went straight upward, but it was still correct. Either way, I'm, I'm I don't know, teenager, I'm an adolescent. When I was a youngster in my, uh, my days of the years 9 through 10, 9 through 12, whatever... Whenever I played this game last, I would not have gotten that for at least hours. But hey, here we are. We accessed another move. So, okay, and uh, I, I also left the castle, and now it's surrounded in a big old diamond of twilight that Zant Pro, uh, he impedes me from going into the castle. Thanks for that word, Miss Poe. Oh, and I, I know I said Mr. Frumpkin in a previous episode, and uh, that's, uh, that's because... Mr. Frumpkin was uh, the name of a substitute I had, and he's, I don't know whatever happened to him, I don't see him at my school subby anymore, but uh, he was the name of a substitute I had, and uh, he, uh, he sounded like this, and he'd always go on about how much he liked his morning coffee, and he was from New York, he was from the Big Apple, he said he was from the Bronx, actually, it's a bit of a rougher part of the town, so that's where you gotta be if you ever wanna get fucked up. Oh, yay, wow. Man, I could do that on Ocarina. Let me hear it one more time. Okay. Oh, that's how you fuck it up in the best of ways. So, let's hear that pitch one more time. Okay, alright, I see. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, no. Son of a bitch! Oh, I forgot it! Okay, come on, let's hear it. Yeah, I held the hums. I held the hum of the hero, and now I can access another move. Man, or wait, what is that for? Is that... I don't think that's what that does. It doesn't have the hero shade on it, or the... This, like the Shakaya eyeball that it usually does. It is very harmonic, Link. You did a great job. 
Blink's going on tour this summer, everyone. Be sure to give him a bit of a shout out and also a little bit of support. So, oh, hello. You're my nightmare fuel friend. How are you? You're so lovely. You're looking great. So are your buddies. They look like, they look like nightmare fuel as well. Uh, I'd be lying if I said they'd look pretty. I want to try something now that Minna's back alive and well. Because all those guys are going to come at me, I'm sure of it. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Just kill them all at the same time. That that went pretty goddamn... That went a lot better than I expected it to, actually, so... Yay for that. Alright, well, I guess I had to do that Hal just to, uh... Just to progress, but... I thought it was another hero shade move, but... I guess not. I want to learn all the hero shade moves. I don't think I learned all of them the last time I played this game, and that's something I want to make up for. Make up for for Zelda made a promise to myself and that was I wasn't gonna come home until I had every piece of heart every side quest done and every hero's move taught to myself I promised myself I would never come back home until I learned all of those forget you I'm not gonna give you a chance to toot your horn you think you're so cool you little self-centered son of a bitch you toot your own horn act like you're funny or something you don't even have to blow on it to access your minions right where are they where are they at where they at, though? Where they at, though? I'm sorry, that sounded a little fucked up, but hey, that's what that song sounds like. Where they at, though? Where they at, though? La, 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 where they at, though? Okay, I gotta stop before I get copyright claims on this. Not like I'm making any money off of these right now anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Where did that little son of a biscuit-eating bulldog go? Or biscuit eating scarecrow, whatever the hell. He needs to. <laughs> Scarecrows can eat biscuits in my world. Um, on top of that, I need to find out what door he opened up and went through so I can pursue him and pursue his face. Like I'd. like nature had originally intended. I saw this picture on Facebook that said most likely to get sunburned by the sun, and it looked like. or not to get a sunburn from the moon, and it looked like a picture of Jim Gaffigan. Get away from me. I don't know why I bring that up right now in random conversation, but I do. I'm going to get killed. Why do you always have to come up behind me? I'm just trying to live life the only way I know how, which is like a hero. I'm like a hero. I'm running like a hero till the end of the fight. This isn't cool. Okay, you're going to have to give me a second, I guess. I don't think this, uh, I don't think this is the room I started in, but I think it will help me progress if I go around if I get around no dude where the hell could he have possibly gone really it's just not gonna come out and tell me it's gotta make it hard as a motherfucker just to find a simple door in the Legend of Zelda 2 as if the game itself wasn't already reasonably difficult it's gotta make it impossible to find a door get away from me you freaking jack they're making it hard too they're making it hard to live and I'm gonna tell you why that is First off, they're making it hard to live because every time they come down, they always try to slash their big gross puppetry hands at me, which I do not much appreciate. And on top of that, I'm hearing this tranquil music right now, and it's so beautiful. Listen to it. Is this where I was supposed to go? There's no way that was always there. What the fuck ever, though. I don't think I give much of a shit at this point. I'm just going to keep chugging on with this playthrough as I do. Hey, I got past the third dungeon. I don't need to answer to no one but myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a way I can swim. And on top of that, like, every time they appear, they always have to have their own little dun, dun theme. Like the freaking Nightmare theme, Legend of Zelda theme. You know which one I'm talking about. Oh, there you are. Stop playing your horn. You don't need to be doing that act of freaking conjuring your little puppet monster pals. It doesn't tell me where he goes or where he lands. Does it zoom outward? I mean, okay, yeah, I guess that time it did, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to pay more attention. That's a, that's a big thing in The Legend of Zelda, paying attention, you know? Read. Get the fuck away from me. I have no tolerance and or time for you. They always have to interrupt my tranquil music with their uh, their little freaking death, death tones. Tones of not life. I'm getting very not happy with this game, if you haven't noticed, but, uh, having a really hard time dealing here. Is this where I started at? No, there he is. There's that little sons of a bitch. I can get to him. Get over here! And then, 
Get over here and get out of here, you freaking disgusting puppet monsters. I, I don't know why I describe a lot of things as disgusting. Well, those things I just murdered were not pretty, so let's, uh, it's the opposite. Oh, ah, that was terrifying. That was some freaking Five Nights at Freddy's horror shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right out of nowhere. Like, that was some scary shit right there. That scared me. That scared me pretty hard. I can't lie. So, if I go up here and then go through that door, will I be able to go through that door? Come on, Link, get up there. You don't have to be completely helpless. Okay, cool, I can go through there. He unlocked it for me so I can murder him. Unlocked for murder. Here we are. Back! I'd be sad if I just jumped clear over his head. I don't think I want to end this episode until I've, uh, murdered him as many times as I, you know, can. I don't know why I always have to follow him all throughout here. I can't just... Or his sorcery, I suppose, is what unblocks the wood in my way. So I guess I... He's a bit of a useful dude, but... Otherwise, he's just a jack wagon soul. That's a jack wagon plus an asshole. Alright. This is where I think things get a little stupid and just a little bit gimmicky. Right Yeah, you said it, man. Like... I mean, am I right? Like, <laughs> come on. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Alrighty. Sorry if the microphone sound sounds a little weird or like the microphone sounds weird because it's a really cold stand and my foot's super hot right now. My hands are getting really sweaty also, so. Man, there's some. He always keeps moving, I think, whenever I want to attack him. No. See? Yeah, like that. That's not. Okay, this is how it's gonna be. I see. And every time I kill each one of his little minions, he always conjures more of them. Oh, okay. I think I see how I'm supposed to deal. There's a, a little time in between after I kill all of his goons and after he finish, ah, finishes blowing his horn. And I guess when he's done, or when he's in the middle of blowing his horn is when I'm supposed to attack him is the best time. Oh, oh, that was bullshit. Oh, I was right there. I know I was... Whatever, okay, that's cool, I mean, I guess. Shit. Blow your horn. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so... Mm, gross. That is the only way to attack him, I guess. The only way to get moves to work. Um... I don't know if I can just jump up onto there, so you're gonna... You're gonna have to be not there. <laughs> One day my sitting in the, the spot that I do when I need to record because if I sit on my bed and record it's gonna break the hell up out of my neck I, I'm pretty sure I already ruined that in uh or not ruined it but said that in the net I'm ruining shit as far as these puppets go but uh I don't know if I already said that in a previous episode I think I did but one time my brother came in here and I was sitting here it was a uh, it was after a recording session I wasn't saying anything but oh man he summoned more of his buddies blew his horn oh, I missed my chance oh well though I'm sure I'll get him. Event. Event I shall obtain. Oh, that was bull snap. I know I bit that little son of a biscuit eating bulldog. So you're just gonna teleport? Okay, are you gonna blow your horn? Okay, that's good to know. But he came in here and uh, I was sitting where I usually do when I need to record and I didn't have my chair where it usually is and he was like, if you're gonna be there, you need to be not there. And I'm just like, Okay, I mean, it's like I can either, I, I'm neither here nor there, apparently. I don't want that monies. I can't carry any more monies. Well, yay. Now, uh, now the bullshit part of this forest begins. Yep, my two favorite friends. I remember this part. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I think this is where I'm going to have to cut the episode off. But if you liked what you saw today, please hit that like button. It does a body good and goes a long way for us YouTubers. On top of that, if you like what you saw today, also, you can hit the subscribe button, which when you do that, you can get frequent updates from me on your YouTube homepage and always know when and what I'm uploading. <coughs> Gross. Thanks so much for watching, and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye now.